Somebody, a brother who works for one of my favorite apps or applications in or social media platforms. We're not on Twitter, we're not on Facebook, we're not on Google, uh, YouTube, um, LinkedIn, and, and so many other amazing um, platforms for people to connect around the world. And just to let you know about his background, he worked as a customer service advisor at Merlin Entertainment. As you might know, Merlin Entertainment is a big one. And now he works for um, Snap, um, Snapchat or Snap um, INC as a support analyst. And um, hopefully in the long term it will be going up and up. I also have seen Khalid Sharif, who is here with us tonight and proudly a member of one of the students at Global Net. Bismillah. Um, I want to start off talking about how I got into IT and how I found out about Globalnet. I remember one of my friends, he's in the crowd today, his name is Abdurrahim, sitting at the back over there. He started IT before me and I wasn't in the country when he started. Like me and him were always together. Every day we like always see each other. And I remember he told me, like, I was looking for a career path to choose. Like, I didn't know what to do. And I remember he told me, um, I started this course, this IT course, with a Somali Ma'alim. And I said to him, so who's this Somali Ma'alim? I've never heard of IT, like a Somali teacher teaching you IT. So I thought, oh, this guy must be a fraud or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, OK. Let's go. I came back to the country, I remember, and I was like, let's go check it out. Let's just see what, like, what he's saying. And to be honest, I've never seen somebody like, who's had like, the most like, highest qualifications and experience like Ma'alin. I still haven't seen like, a Somali person that can top Ma'alin. And still to this day. And I remember I went to the class and Ma'alin, like, he gave me more information about the courses that he does and about what I could do and where I can go with the courses he's teaching. And I started off studying A+, then I done my Network+, plus, then I was doing server. And I remember when I was doing A+, I was so motivated by seeing so much people, like you come to class and somebody tells you, yeah, I just came back from work. And this is before I even got into IT. And I was asking the person, where do you work? I work in IT. And it's so crazy, like this person actually works in like a professional role in IT. And I thought maybe one day I could do that as well. And I was so confident that I could do that. I remember I used to work in another company, like the brother mentioned, I used to work in Merlin. And I started that job while I was doing my A+. And I remember my first day going there, I was telling the manager, I'm not gonna be here for long. I'm going into IT. And I ended up doing A+, Network+, and then while I was doing server, I was, I used to ask Ma'alin a lot about the jobs and how I can apply and what I can do. So me and Ma'alin sat down. Me and him, we created my first professional CV. I created that and I started sending it out. And a lot of companies got back to me. They started calling me. And the first times I used to be like so nervous, like how can, like what are you going to say when they call you? Like it's a very professional environment. So I used to talk to them. I read like so much things online. I asked the people, the people who had jobs. And everybody like kind of made it sound like seem like a big thing. Oh, they're gonna call you. You're gonna go through like ten interviews or whatnot. And to be honest, it's it's like one of the most easiest things you could do. All you have to do is you need courage and confidence as a person within yourself. Nobody can put that in you. And especially for jobs, I I remember my I went through three stages in my interview, and my second stage I remember. You have, like, one of the things they look for is not, like, technical things. A lot of people don't have technical things. As, like, Firdos was mentioning, like, when she saw, like, the job description, she didn't know half of the things on there. But you need courage and motivation to tell yourself, I could do this. And what the th one of the things they look at is, can, does this person act like they want to do this? And does this person act like they can achieve the things that we have? So I remember... 
Um, I remember they called, she, like my manager, she called me and I was in bed. I just woke up like five minutes after waking up. She called me, I'm still in my bed. I woke up by like the sun hitting my eyes. And she said to me, oh, Khalid, how are you? Is this your interview? And I said, oh, how are you doing, man? It's a very summer, sunny day today and whatnot. I was in bed. <laughs> I was telling her it was sunny. She's like, yeah, it's so sunny today. And we even started talking about the sun instead of talking about the whole interview process. This is like one of the things I tell people, like when you're doing an interview, don't talk about like technical things. Talk, talk to the person, like get to know the person very well. So, because that person is going to be a manager. Do you think this person, you can like laugh around with this person? Do you think you can like be serious with this person? Grow with this person and, and learn from the person. And alhamdulillah, I've done my third interview. They called me and she called me and she said, I want to, I want to really meet you. Let's come for your interview. I went to my interview, I was telling Alin, he was like preparing me, he was helping me very much. In, pre in preparing for the interview. I went to the interview, I done it, and I remember they were telling me like, it was a Thursday, and they were telling me, um, we have a final interview on Monday, we're gonna call that interview, like interviewee, and if that person gets the job, like outdoes you, then we'll give that job to the person. I remember after my interview, I think they must have consolidated with like the other team members, literally like 30 minutes after my interview, I got called and I was told the job is mine. And, I remember like, um, I was at home, my mom wasn't at home, so I called Ma'alin and I told him, Ma'alin, I got the job and he was so happy. And one of the things like, I always tell people, like, every, from then on, like, the, people even changed my name. My name is Khalid, people call me Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> so like, one of the things I tell people all the time, they always ask me, like, oh, how do you get there? Like, people don't even, I remember like, one of the classes I was helping out, I remember one guy who was in A plus and he was asking me, where do you work? And I told him, I work in Snapchat. He laughed at me. <laughs> he said to me, you're lying. I, I, I told him I'm being serious. And he said, no, no, you're lying. Bent here though, like. I laughed at him, I said to him, one, you will find out one day that I do work there. I can't tell you, you know, it's not going through your head, but you will find out. And like, one of the things that people ask me is how do you get there and what do you do? And, how do you prepare yourself? How's the interview? People are, a lot of people are nervous about these type of things. I always tell people like being nervous and of like of an interview, especially like of an interview. This is nerve wracking. This is like a lot of people. But in an interview, it's one person, and you're just talking to one person. And to be honest, you have to just put yourself out there. Tell them what you are, where you want to go, and what you can help them with. You have to prepare for the interview. Ask questions. Be like very presentable, and I don't see like why any company, any company would not want to hire you, because the whole reason why they have the job is to hire somebody, right? So they want to hire somebody. They're looking for to fill that position, and if you come and like act like you can't do it, they're not going to give it to you. But if you show them that you have actually the qualifications and you have the right mindset, you'll get the job. Um, I just want to finish off with like a, a story. So there was like a, there was a story about a guy one day he was walking and he, um, he saw some elephants. And these elephants, they were tied to a tree by their legs, a very small rope. They were tied to a tree. And he was so amazed like how big the elephants were and how small the rope was and the tree as well. So he was so puzzled and then he went, he saw a trainer next to the elephants, elephant trainer. And he asked him, this is like so crazy, like how are these big elephants not running away? And the trainer, he told them, he told the guy, he said to him, when these elephants were growing, we trained them, we tied them to the rope. And the rope used to hold them when they were young. So now that they've grown, they still believe that this rope can still hold them. And it's like a very like, that's what happens to a lot of people, they still think that, because, yeah, maybe five years ago you did not know how to speak English. Maybe you know a bit of English now. It doesn't mean you are the same and doesn't mean you go through the same problems. So the moral of the story is, don't be that elephant that's, that's attached to the tree. Um, I'd like to thank all of you guys. I th I'd like to thank Allah, the then everybody else who helped me, my friends, the people in our classes. Hamza pointing at himself, pointing at himself. Um, thank you guys very much. Zakallah khair.
سناب شات كان وحن قلي قد بدي قالت لو وقف بقى وحي ويدي سي سوماري ميا سناب شات كشخيص مركا وحن لأي همباليو لكن إمي كوحي كدم بي سناب شات كوحن قلي نوينا نكفير سنو ما داما قالت نداونا يو وحن لأي همباليو قالت وانا نليرا وهذا وانا أكسان سيدا عرقتين حشوط بدن رنحان سينا grateful man معلن كينا ومهد علي سيد يو انتو قلاسك هولا ديگت تي واليتك انتو كغرب استاك تي it's something special So thank you very much and good luck with your future.